today I am in one of my most favorite places. The body of water here behind me is the Strait of Juan de Fuca, which means I'm on the northern coast of the Olympic Peninsula. The beach that I'm at now is in the rocky intertidal. So most of the substrate here is made of rock rather than sand. And this is the intertidal zone means that when the tide is high, this habitat is covered with seawater. And when the tide is low, the animals and the seaweeds are exposed to the air. Right now it is the end of March 2021 and low tide is in about 30 minutes. And the tide is going out to about a minus one foot level. I've been coming to this beach for years and I've observed that there's a fairly large population of purple sea urchins. And so my question is, does that population change throughout the year? In order to address that question, I have with me a quadrat and this quadrat is just a square that's 20 centimeters on each side and it's made of PVC pipe. And then this grid inside is made of elastic cord. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out into the low intertidal where the purple sea urchins live. And I am going to kind of semi-randomly place this quadrat down in the habitat. And then I'm going to photograph the quadrat several times. So I'm gonna place it, take a photo, place it somewhere else, take a photo. And then we are going to use those photos to count the number of purple sea urchins that we see in, in each quadrat. We can take the average to figure out about how many purple sea urchins there are in March on this beach. And I've done this same thing in September 2020 and also in June of 2020. So we have a couple other months that we can compare the data to. The reason that I don't have data for the winter months is because the time of the low tides changes every single day. And in the winter months in Washington, the low tides are after dark. So it's really difficult to photograph them without the proper equipment. So we are going to compare June, September, and March. Let's do it.